Hello you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Steve and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about semi-solid platforms. Semi-solid platforms are a really unique Super Mario Maker obstacle, as they basically interact with nothing and there aren't many Mario Maker obstacles which are so uninteresting at first glance. Nevertheless, they are part of our journey to cover every single Mario Maker obstacle but one. And as it turns out, there are some interesting things you can do with them as well. So are you ready? Let's do this! Our first semi-solid idea features a bone maze. Here Mario has to make his way through the bone platforms while several threats try to hurt him. While escaping the fire bars at first is a rather easy challenge, things get way more dangerous fast. Once Mario escaped the dangerous fire bars, he immediately faces horrific lava bubbles. But if he manages to escape from them as well, he has to deal with cannonballs. This platform layout can be useful for several things as it punishes Mario for jumping. If you want for example to create a non-jump Captain Todd stage, you should be able to create interesting platforming challenges if you set the platforms up like this. The last threat Mario faces in this small level is my favorite one. A suicidal buzzy beetle throws itself towards Mario as soon as he passes the one-way door. Turning this small little challenge into a race about life or death. The next idea Mario has to survive is a small vertical tower filled with platforms. Whenever Mario jumps he travels one floor upwards. Leaving this tower would be pretty easy for a plumber if it wasn't for the sharp saw blades who live in the tower, which aren't especially happy that Mario infiltrated their living space. Here Mario is trapped in between two bullet blaster builds which slowly move towards the exit door and limit Mario's movement options. All that our little Italian friend is able to do here is jumping. And he needs to do so a lot as he dies if he walks on top of a semi-solid platform which has a spike below it. So Mario needs to be careful if he wants to survive this stressful trap. Phew. That was probably a horrific experience for Mario. I can't imagine how horrible it has to be to be trapped in between two shooting cannons. Luckily the next idea Mario has to master is a super easy one. It's basically just a small path filled with trees and hills. Nothing is there which threatens to tear Mario apart. Not even a wiggler. Or so it appeared. Sadly for Mario, a gang of wiggler throwing Lakitus lives below this stage and they aren't happy that Mario infiltrated their home either. In the Super Mario Bros. 3 and the Wii U theme, Lakitus are able to throw enemies on top of semi-solid platforms if they are below them. This allows for some interesting designs as Mario isn't able to kill the Lakitus, but they are able to confront him with threats. For our next idea we use semi-solid platforms to create a small speed level, where Mario has to wall jump his way upwards in a ghost house. He has to travel from the right to the left to the right and so on, while he avoids touching a saw blade. While this stage would be pretty easy normally, this one isn't, as the timer is set to 20 seconds and Mario isn't allowed to lose any speed if he wants to make it out of this room. So let's take a look on an amazing level built by Ragnarok X, which is heavily built around semi-solid platforms. The stage is called Camouflage Crystal Cave and it's built around a really cool illusion. The crystal platforms in the cave environment in the Wii U style are really unique as the bottom of these platforms looks almost identical as their top. But Mario is only able to walk on their top and falls down if he tries to walk on their bottom side. Ragnarok X managed to build an incredibly cool level around this idea. The whole level is like a small maze filled with evil threats and rewarding coins and Mario can never be entirely sure where he's allowed to walk on and where he isn't. This stage is part of the one year Mario Maker level collection. This collection features 32 incredibly awesome amazing and beautiful Super Mario Maker stages made by creators all around the world. If you're looking for great Mario Maker courses, it's a great place to start. You can find the link to their homepage in the description together with the level ID of the camouflage crystal caverns. Alright, so here Mario has to climb to the top of the tower again, but this time he has to time his jumps carefully as there are threats exiting the pipes in constant waves. I really like levels which are built around such an idea and I really, really hope that at some point in the future we will be able to create vertical levels so that such challenges can be longer than only two screens. 
It's possible to build really cool levels with semi-solid platforms if you use them in their intended way. Here Mario has to platform around in a really simple traditional Mario level. I'm actually really surprised how few levels are out there relying on semi-solid platforms instead of ground tiles, as in my opinion they make far more interesting levels. Not only is it cool if Mario is able to jump through the floor, but using semi-solids usually creates an illusion of height and danger. They do not limit Mario's jump height, they allow you to create alternate paths really easily and they are perfect to set up small secrets. If you take a look on the traditional Mario games, you'll see that they usually use tons of semi-solid platforms in most levels, as they are really simple objects, which allow a lot of complexity and are fun to interact with. For our next idea, we put Mario under water. He needs to walk really slow here, as only the lower semi-solid leads him to the exit door. But there are evil platforms, which try to push Mario on the top, which forces him to retry this challenge. While there is nothing in this room which is actually able to kill Mario, he still has to be careful, as reaching the exit door is what he desires, and redoing this challenge takes a lot of time. But if Mario stays concentrated and carefully underwater walks towards the end, he's able to reach the exit door, which takes him directly to my favorite semi-solid platform idea. I proudly present to you the Tower of the Flying Munchers. Here munchers take over each floor of the tower step by step. Mario's only chance of escaping is to climb faster upwards as the munchers do. Hooray! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially solid today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon with even more tips, tricks and ideas in Super Mario Maker. Goodbye!